Hello everyone. So today in this video we will see about the hyperbolic function, how to plot the graph of the hyperbolic functions in the Mathematica. Okay, you know about the hyperbolic function that is the sine hyperbolic, cos hyperbolic. Uh, if you don't know about this, you can search the hyperbolic functions by the Akash Fesh and you will get the video where I, I will teach you about the hyperbolic functions okay so in this video we will see how to plot this function and how we write this function in the exponential form because the hyperbolic function can also be written in the exponential form so we will uh, understand little bit about the hyperbolic function which we will use in this uh, session so let's start our video so suppose if we want to plot the cos hyperbolic sin hyperbolic okay so we use the simple command that is a plot command okay so i will write the plot command and if i want to plot what if i want to plot the sin hyperbolic if i want to plot what if i want to plot the sin hyperbolic for the hyperbolic i will simply write the h and within the square bracket i will write x that is the sine hyperbolic x and your x will vary and so suppose your x varies from minus 8 to 8 and you will write this in the curly bracket and uh, yes you can also give the another command that is the plot style in the plot style you will get which type of line you want so you can also write uh, the dash take uh, or if i want the color line so suppose i write the brown okay brown color line and uh, if you want to label your axis you will give the axis label command axis label command and uh, so uh, what you want to label i want to label the x and y x for the x axis and y for the y axis so then press the shift plus enter key you will get the sine hyperbolic function x okay sine hyperbolic x and similarly if you want to plot the cos hyperbolic cos hyperbolic so i am copy and pasting the same command so that we will save our time so you can see so by replacing the sign i will write the cos cos represent the cos and h represent the hyperbolic function of x and uh, you can change the color so suppose if i want the red color then shift plus enter then this is a graph of the cos hyperbolic function okay then if i want the tan hyperbolic function so i will simply write the tan hx tan hx remember the t would be the capital one then you can see the graph of the tan hyperbolic function for the cot hyperbolic function we will write what uh, yes we will write the cot okay we will write the c o t c would be the capital okay so yes you can see over here c would be the capital then shift plus enter you can get the graph of the cot hyperbolic function before writing the command i always say you to remember the uh, capital letter where we have to use the capital letter where we have to use the small letter in the axis label you can see the a would be capital and in the label l would be the capital so before to go further there would be the self promotion that is if you like this video please like subscribe and share this video and you can also go in the playlist section where you will get the more videos about the Wolfram Mathematica and about the mathematics topics okay so let's move further let uh, plot the uh, 
sec hyperbolic function so for the sec hyperbolic function we will simply write sec sec we denote the sec hyperbolic function so this is the graph of the sec hyperbolic function okay now uh, uh, what left that is the cosec hyperbolic so for the cosec you have to remember mm, yes you have to remember that uh, for the cosec we write uh, we denote it by the csc okay by what c would be the capital one then s and then c csc denote what cosec and as i represent the hyperbolic function then by pressing the shift plus enter key you will get your output so this is the graph of the cosec hyperbolic function where your x is varying from minus 8 to 8 so in this way we have uh, done with the graphing now i have told you that uh, the hyperbolic function can also be represented in the form of the exponent can also be write in the exponential form okay so how we write so for that we will give the command trig to x exp exp represent the exponential okay trig 2 2 ka t would be the capital then exp represent represents the exponential form of what so we want uh, to expand our we want to write uh, our function in the exponential form so we will write the uh, hyperbolic function here so i want this sine hyperbolic function okay and uh, this would be sine hyperbolic that in the exponential form then press the shift plus enter key so you can see that the output will come out to be like e raised to the power minus z divided by 2 plus e raised to the power z by 2 so in this way we can write our sine hyperbolic function sine hyperbolic z is equals to the e raised to the power z by 2 minus e raised to the power minus z by 2 okay so you can also write uh, z to be y so it would come out to be e raised to the minus y by 2 plus e raised to the power y by 2 so similarly if uh, you uh, i will uh, tell you in the in this uh, command that if you want to find the exponential form of the cos hyperbolic then you will give the cos okay cos hyperbolic y and it would be equal to e raised by minus y by 2 plus e raised by y by 2 there is a difference of the negative sign in the cos hyperbolic y and the uh, and what and the sign hyperbolic y okay so let's move further so if i want to find the 10 hyperbolic 10 hyperbolic y then you can see it is equals to what minus of e raised to the power minus y divided by e raised to the power minus y plus e raised to the power y take it then plus e raised to the power y divided by e raised to the power minus y plus e raised to the power y this is same okay the denominator is same in the both terms okay then for the sec hyperbolic you will also write the same you will write the sec and trig to expand trig represent the trigonometric function to from where uh, from trigonometric function to the exponential form we want so then shift plus enter this is equals to 2 divided by e raised to the power minus y plus e raised to the power y similarly for the cot function for the cot we will write the cot then shift plus enter then you will get your result then for the cosec for the cosec what we will write we will write csc denote the 
cos x hyperbolic function so in this way um, we can find the exponential form of our uh, hyperbolic function so if we want if uh, yeah, you can also see the parametric equation can also come out to uh, plot the graph of the hyperbolic function so for that we will use the param parametric plot command so uh, let us see some uh, graph how to draw the parametric equation of the hyperbolic function so what I, we will give we will simply give the parametric plot command parametric plot command for uh, if I want the sine hyperbolic my parameter would be t and uh, cos hyperbolic cos hyperbolic and parameter would be the same of uh, both the functions then vary your t then your t varies from give the any value so suppose i take it from minus 3 to 3 so you can see the graph of the parametric equation of the hyperbolic function okay so similarly if uh, you can uh, plot the different function so suppose uh, yes take that to be the cos hyperbolic in the x coordinate uh, i am writing c s c that is the cosec and uh, here i will write the sec hyper, uh, hyperbolic function so i am writing it to be the s e c then shift plus enter then you can see the parametric plot of the given function will come out to be like this okay similarly for the tan and cot we can also do so we will give the same command so yes in which way so suppose in the x coordinate i am writing it to be tan hyperbolic and uh, here I will write that is the cos hyperbolic and it is varying from minus 3 to 3 so graph will come out to be like this you can also write here to be the cot then the graph will come out to be like this you have to um, uh, give the domain of the t would be minus 8 to 8 so that you can see the graph clearly okay so it will come out to be like this and if you want to find the series of some functions so of the hyperbolic function okay how to find the series of a function we will see also in this video that uh, for the series we have to give the simple command that is the series so i want uh, what I want the sine hyperbolic function so I will write sine hyperbolic x and uh, my x uh, varies from 1 to 10 to make it clear you yes so give the shift plus enter key so you will get the series of the sine hyperbolic function okay so this is the series of the sine hyperbolic function similarly you can find uh, the series of the cos so i am changing in the in the same uh, i am changing in the same command you will write in the uh, you will write the different command for the different function so that uh, it will clear you the concept so for the cos i will simply write the cos hyperbolic and then shift plus and key you will get the series of the cos hyperbolic so similarly if i want the cos x so i will write csc and you can see the series of the cos x hyperbolic function similarly you can find the series of the tan hyperbolic cot hyperbolic and the sec hyperbolic for so for the last concept if we want to find the numerical value of the cos sec hyperbolic function and it is given you the value of the x so how you will find the 
numerical value so for the numerical value you know the command that is the capital n okay to make it clear you yes yes now it is clear to you we will write the capital n for the numerical value and if the question given to me like uh, the cos hyperbolic and my x value is given me to be as the 12 by 50 okay now uh, if you see the numerical value of this so uh, it is the uh, the digits after the point is infinite okay so you uh, want to find the value of cos hyperbolic 12 by 15 up to the 7 decimal up to the 7 decimal point so you will write the 7 after the comma it uh, means what that you want uh, the val numerical value of cosec hyperbolic function 12 by 15 up to the 7 decimal now give the shift plus enter key so you can see the result over here that after decimal you will get the 7 digits okay up to the 7 decimal now the value is 1.37435 so similarly uh, if the question comes to you that uh, you want to find the numerical value of the different function so if uh, the question comes to me as the 10 12 by 15 or you can also change it to be the 7 16 by 45 and we want this up to the 50 decimal point so i will write the 50 over here and this would be the result okay so this is my result of the 10 hyperbolic 16 by 45 up to the 50 decimal point so this is the numerical value similarly you can find it for the any so suppose uh, you want to find the cosec hyperbolic of, of the 12 by 15 up to the 70 decimal point then shift plus enter then you will get the numerical value of the cosec hyperbolic function of the 12 by 15 up to the 70 decimal point so i hope you like this video and now we are ending this session so if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and uh, keep watching and thanks for watching